Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. And today is a very impromptu video. Not expected whatsoever, but uh, if you remember some videos back, and I think the title of the video was something along the lines of, yikes, uh, this was not how the plan was supposed to go. Anyways, uh, I was up maintaining the rabbits, giving them some water, some feed, and I said, you know what, I'll check Smokey and see how things are going, see if she ended up bred or not. Anyway, Smokey has quite a belly on her and uh, has also developed uh, milking uh, breasts, I guess, or developed uh, nipples for feeding young. So, anyways, I looked back at the dates of my videos to see what kind of time frame we're at here. And May 30th was the day that I filmed that video where she accidentally got bred. So, that puts us on day 28 today, I believe it is. So, we are two to three days out from having kids from Smokey. And I'm pretty sure she is pregnant and she's soon ready to pop. So, she's in on the cage right now. And basically, I need... Uh, a nesting box ASAP. I need a box that she can make a nest in. I need to do a little bit of uh, you know swapping of rabbits around and pretty much give her the uh, main operating space out of one of those middle grow out cages because she's about to be a mom. Either that or it could all go horribly wrong and where she's so young she might not survive or the kids might not survive. This is all in nature's hands now at this point in time. So anyways, I went on one of my favorite rabbitry resources. Uh, it's a channel by the name of the Rabbitry Center. Uh, Bobby is on there and he provides a lot of excellent knowledge. So I am copying his nesting box design inch by inch. Uh, everything about it is from his website, his YouTube channel. So there's nothing novel being uh, shown in this video, but hopefully I can get this together quickly get it together and uh, do some cage swapping up there with the rabbits to give Smokey a breeding space because uh, that belly's tight and uh, I think we got some baby bunnies coming. Alright, so let's uh, just get right into it. I'll get some plywood, we'll get it traced out, marked out and we'll start cutting and nailing and gluing of course. Alright, let's get going. Alright, boys and girls, so this is uh, Gonna be a very quick project, hopefully. Shouldn't be too much to it, but you know, I've set that before. But uh, anyways, I got some half-inch plywood here, and I'm basically just gonna be tracing out uh, Bobby's blueprints and uh, cutting and trying to get this assembled as best way possible. So that's my. A little jot notes there of Bobby's measurements. So we got an 11 and 3 quarter piece, which is grand and all the length we need. All right, so let's go for a larger piece first. So we'll go 4 inch by 11 for the top. So that's 4 inches. And 4 inches. And let's mark off 11. There. Alright, now this one is probably a little bit off camera for you guys. You probably can't totally see this one. I'll bring it back into frame. But uh, this is a small piece. This is the top of the nesting box. And it's 11 inches by 4 inches. Alright, so that's our 11 by 4. Next to that is a 5x10. So, you know, let's just cut these pieces individually as I draw them. And uh, that way at least we'll, we'll be that far along. So I'm going to go get my skill saw, be right back, and do this first cut. Alright, so next on the list is going to be a 5 inch by 10 inch front. Okay, so 
again. I'll just start from here. Do five. I'll square that over. Like so. And then we'll do ten. Alright, so the next unique piece uh, is going to be a 9 by 10 and that's for a back. So let's uh, measure that out real quick. So let's do the 9. 9. Okay, so we'll do the 9 inch and then like we've been doing all along. Ten. Like so and like so. There. Let's get that cut. Alright, and finally the next piece is in line is of course two side pieces. And these are a bit more intricate. They're 9 by 18, but then there's a couple of measurements in between. So uh, I guess I'll do the 9 first. Actually no, I'll do the 18 first and then the 9 high. Do 18 here. 18 down here. I'm going to square those up. Like so. Alright, so that's my 9 by 18 cut there now. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace that just to make sure everything is as equal as I can get it. There we are. So I'll do that cut now. Alright, so now we're at the point of doing the sides where it takes a few little measurements to meet um, the blueprints. So basically, now that I got an 18 by 9 piece, I'm going to go up to the 5 inch mark on this side and mark that there. Then I'm going to go in 4 inches on the top on this side and I'm going to mark here and then I'm actually going to connect those two points with a straight edge. Alright, so I'm going to join those two points with a straight line. And draw that line. Okay, so that's what you end up with right there. Okay, so I'm just going to make that one cut and then this side will be complete. So I'm just going to mark that out on this one as well. So I'll probably mark it out um, exactly here on this side. Okay. 
There we are. So I'll make these two cuts and we'll have all of our pieces ready for assembly at that point. So let's get that done. So there we are. This is all the pieces now made for our nesting box. Actually, I am missing the bottom. That's what I am missing. So that's the next piece. I forgot all about that one. And the bottom, because it's on the other side of the paper. And that's 11 by 18. So that should be a fairly simple cut. So I go 18 down again. 18. There we are. That's our 18. Now we'll do our 11. And we should be gold. Alright, so hopefully this is one of our final cuts now. And then we'll have all of our pieces ready to go together. All right, so now that we got all of our pieces cut out, there is one more cut that is optional, and that is with your bottom piece. When it comes to the bottom, uh, on Bobby's videos, he mentions cutting out a hole at the middle of the bottom, and coming an inch and a half in from all sides, and ending up with a middle rectangle that you remove. The purpose of that, I think, is mainly for waste removal, so that the in case the dough stays in the nesting box and urinates or defecates or anything, that waste can fall down through the screening and carry on down to the ground through your cage floor bottom. Uh, but I've seen many other videos where they just say put lots of wood shavings in and hopefully the, the dough will exit the nesting box uh, to do her business and that the kits won't actually produce enough waste to really soil the box. So I'm going to leave the bottom of mine intact for now and we're just going to experiment with a sealed floor box. And so as of right now our cutting is done and so we're going to move on to assembly and uh, basically we should shortly have a nesting box complete. Alright so this is going to be our bottom and our back and two sides and yada 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 we will get that together with some Donkey Kong glue and some uh, some nails with the nailing gun alright so let's let's get to it alright so here we are ready for assembly we got all of our cut pieces done we'll start with our bottom and uh, and work our way around that so as of the beginning I guess we could start with a side, but I'm going to just mock this up a little bit first. Make sure how things are going to lay out. So I think everything is going to go on top of the bottom, like such. So far, that looks correct. So as you can tell, I brought my clamps over because I figured I was going to need them. But, um, so that's that. This should be a front, like such. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to be good. So the best way for me to start this is probably going to be either putting the front in between the two sides, or putting the sides onto the base, or the front onto the base, likely not. Okay, but uh, basically it's going to take a little bit of creativity, but I think the best place for me to begin is going to be putting the front between the two sides, at least that will provide some, some form of stability for putting it on the bottom then after that. Alright, like such. So for assembly, Donkey Kong glue, of course. 
And every time I go to use my Donkey Kong glue, there is a remainder from last session to be peeled off. So I'll make sure to get that done. And uh, another thing as well, I'm going to be using my brad nailer, finishing nailer, whatever you want to call it. And for this project, I've decided to use one inch nails. All right, I'm dealing with half inch plywood, so I figure a half inch in one piece, half inch in the other should give me a one inch finishing nail. And hopefully that will hold it enough for the glue to set and we'll end up with a good finish. So yeah, apparently I left more glue on this last time than I intended. But I'll get this removed and we'll move forward. Alright, let's get hooked up and let's remove the two inch nails. Start with that many for now. So I'm going to start off with the front piece. Like such. And that's going to be attaching just like this. Okay, so I'm just going to see if I can attach that on with a clamp just to help me out here a little bit. There we are, that looks good. So I'll lay that on the side. Safety glasses on. Bingo bango. One side. Let's move on to the next. We'll repeat a similar clamping style. All right, this one stands up a lot easier. Now with the first one done. There, just like that. Easy peasy. Alrighty, so now that we have the front on and attached, and uh, I'm just going to smear the glue here that we have. Okay, next on the list, I can go ahead and do the back piece. So I'll find the nicest side out. And that's going to go in between the boards as well, same as the front did. So we get that lined up. Alright, so we'll take our back piece, let's get the glue on there. I'm going to do both sides this time. Just like that. Separate these down between making a little bit of mess with the glue but nothing I'm worried about all right now I get my trusty clamps okay just like that Same on this side. There we are. 
So far, we are ripping along. No issues so far, knock on wood. Now we have a top piece here. All right, that's going to be going on like such. So, let's get it done. Just doing three sides of this one. It's going on like that. And if by chance this wasn't totally squared up, you could use your clamps to, uh, to help that along. But right now my clamp on here is keeping everything square. And I am actually good to nail. And my nail supply is still good. There we are. So that's our top on, which leaves only the bottom. So you clean up your glue as you go if you like. And now we're ready to put the bottom on. That'll be going on like this. I'll definitely be needing more nails, so I'll get those put in now. Have it ready. Alright, so let's get this ready and screw this one on, or nail it on, I should say. Alright, so let's get this in more of a working position here and get our dose of Donkey Kong glue on here. That's one thing about doing this project is uh, I had kind of put Smokey being pregnant to the back of my mind. So to suddenly realize that yes, the breeding had worked, it was, or at least it sure looks that way, um, it really gets things cracking. <laughs> so there's, there's no more procrastinating when you needed it yesterday. So here we are. And I don't know if you know this about me yet from watching my videos, but I am a mega procrastinator. But I do get things done when down to the crunch for the most part. It would be pretty rare for me to uh, come up short. And there you have it. Nesting box is complete. Here we go. Let's get it ready. Alrighty, so our nesting box is done and assembled, glued, and nailed, and turned out quite well, I think. So, next thing that this needs is some bedding. Alright, it gotta have, have some absorptive material in there for absorbing feces or urine or any kind of other fluids or dirt that gets in there. So for that purpose I'm going to recruit my kiddos to come on over and we're going to put in a combination of about one to two inches of wood chips in the bottom, probably even two to three inches, and then follow that up with a bit of hay as a substitute for straw. Some people prefer to put straw in there but we don't actually have any straw so we're going to put in hay. At that point that should be all the material that the mother needs to make a nest and be ready for the little kids to come. Alright, so I got my kiddos recruited here now. So we're going to start off with a couple inches of uh, wood chips would be a good start. Excellent. Make sure 
your eyes. Or to each other's eyes, I should say. <laughs> Okay, one more for Mr. Man, I think, and we should be good on wood chips. There we are. Excellent. Alright, so next, I'm going to add in some hay. Put in a layer of hay. Alright, take a handful, Mr. Man. Not all of it, it's just a, a fluffy handful. There you go. Gonna miss. You're just going to give it a little covering for her to use, along with her fur, to create a nest. There we go. And one more. This should, this should do it. Good job, kiddos. Thank you. Alright. Alright, so there you are. Have a look. That is our completed nesting box. So at this point now we're going to take this up to the coop and we're going to do a bit of bunny rearrangement. And I got a feeling on what we're going to do and just in case it's too windy up there to tell you I'm thinking we're going to take Smokey, the doll who's pregnant, move her into the large grow out cage. Cookie, who is down on the ground, will move him up into where Smokey is now, one of the bachelor cages on the side. And the two does that are in the current grow out cage, will put them down on the ground. And I think that'll be a good combination, have everybody swapped around and happy enough that, uh, that we can let everything happen from there on out. So, up we go to the rabbit coop, we'll meet you up there. All right, everybody, welcome to the rabbit coop hallway. And as you can see, this is how things ended up after the big move of the rabbit house up in with the rabbit hutches. All right, so, you know, I got enough space here for working and I've gone ahead, I've bought some more feeders since. So every door in here now has an automatic feeder. The only thing I'm missing on the rabbit house though is some more water bottles. But I'm trying to avoid buying them because they're quite expensive for one. And two, I do have some tubing and stuff to try and make up an automatic watering system, uh, a gravity fed system. So stay tuned for that at some point in the future. But anyways, let's get to doing what we're here to do. And over here, we got to do some swapping. All right, first of all, I need to get the buck off the ground because if there's does moving down there, we don't need any more inadvertent breeding happening. So, first thing on my list is to find Cookie. And he's nudging the camera there now, if you could tell. Alright, so let's get him. And here's Cookie. Here is the potential daddy. I think I think Cookie is the daddy, because the timing seems to be working out to be that way. And his breeding was actually witnessed, and so I think this is going to be the daddy of Smokey's babies. And uh, what a mix it may be, we'll find out. Alright, so I'm going to swap him and Smokey to begin with. And Smokey's down in this last one. So this is the, the pregnant doe. You can go in there. Uh, try not to get scratched up here. Okay. Now, so I just need to choose two doughs to go down to ground level, and I think that's going to be. Hot chocolate, and which one are you? And milky. Alright, so milky hot chocolate. Alright, so I'll put milky in there, take milky out, and hot chocolate. 
There we go. All right, so Smokey got a nice big cage now. Don't need two resting platforms anymore, so I'll take the second one out. Smokey is a stompy girl. She, uh, <laughs> she's stomping away. That's not just the cage rattling. She's stomping. So I'll bring you guys over, and we'll get this cage set up here now for uh, for Smokey, who's not really not feeling very appreciative right now. All right. So here we have Smokey inside one of our middle grow out cages. This measures approximately three feet by three feet, minus a little bit, give or take, for the sides. And this is the one we're going to be setting up as her little brooding area. All right. So. Um, like I say, she's a bit of a stomper. She's never had a temperament that we really liked. There was supposed to be no intention of uh, of breeding her as a her, but uh, you know, it's the cards we were dealt. So, anyways, we're gonna get our new breeding box. Hopefully, she accepts it. And uh, as such a young young rabbit, I sure hope she knows what to do. Or else this could go terribly wrong, this whole baby situation. So, uh, all right, like we're, we're totally letting nature take its course here. All right, the, bre the breeding was not intentional. The fact that she is so young to be bred was not intentional. If you're getting any wind noise right now, that's not intentional. <laughs> But uh, anyways, there we are. Nesting box is in place. All right, so there we have it. A few chewing sticks. If she wants to eat some of that hay that's in the nesting box, that's fine. But otherwise, we are all set for her to uh, get in there, start plucking neck fur, making a nest, and. Um, you know, at least she's checking it out there now. We're all witnessing this together. Hopefully she doesn't get in there and just treat it like a bathroom. Oh, she's so angry. She's so angry. Such an angry rabbit. This is not the one I wanted to breed right now. But, with that said, she is the rabbit that we were going to breed as a buck. For, for meat rabbits, so um, she could very well be uh, pregnant with our first batch of meat rabbits. So, there you have it, all set up. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, another impromptu video, out of the blue, out of the woodwork, and straight to you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was definitely unplanned, but things came together quickly. And thankfully, I had that resource available of uh, the Rabbitry Center. You know, Bobby there, he's fun to watch. You should check out his videos. And uh, if you do head over that way, maybe you can let him know what I sent you and, uh, and how we appreciate his content. And as of now, we got a nesting box put in for Smokey. So we may be getting kits over the next two to three days as uh, if things keep going along the time frame that they are. I'm pretty sure that that belly on Smokey is a pregnant belly. So uh, things might get interesting real fast around here. But we got everything uh, in order now. We got Smokey in the grow out cage with the nesting box, with a water or feeder, everything necessary. And the does that were in there are down on the ground with a big water, more feed. Like everybody should be happy. So other than my shirt, my shirt is left with a bunch of holes from Smokey digging into me during the move. So, uh, anyways, that's going to conclude today's video. But I got a feeling there's going to be another one pretty soon, if uh, if things happen the way I think they're happening up in that coop. And other than that, we need to get back at this chicken brooder as well. So stay tuned. We still got lots of stuff going on here. And uh, when it happens, I'll be make sure to bring it your way in the next video. So until that next video happens. Hope you're happy, hope you're healthy, take care of each other, and peace, peace out! out.